covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. Both Hewlett Packard Enterprise and IBM have announced significant cost-cutting measures, including pay cuts and significant job losses. The COVID-19 crisis is hitting almost every market sector hard, and now the dominoes are starting to fall. As other small, medium, and large businesses reduce operations or shutter for good, the tech firms that rely on enterprise clients are themselves taking heavy losses and laying off personnel. IBM announced its layoffs late Thursday. In a statement, the company said the highly competitive marketplace requires flexibility to constantly remix high-value skills, which in this case means deciding you no longer place a high value on the skills a significant number of employees bring to the socially distanced table. IBM, like many firms now facing cuts and layoffs, was not in the best of financial situations before COVID-19 hit. The company's CEO, Arvin Krishna, has been with the company for decades but only stepped into the top seat in April, saying at the time he was focused on building up the parts of the company that support cloud computing and artificial intelligence and was willing to move away from the rest. IBM did not specify how many positions were being cut, but both the Wall Street Journal and Bloomberg News report thousands of employees were affected in five states. California, New York, North Carolina, Missouri, and Pennsylvania. IBM said in a statement it would offer subsidized medical coverage to affected employees for the next 12 months. Hewlett Packard Enterprise also announced its cost-cutting plans on Thursday as part of its more recent quarterly earnings report. The company will cut some salaries through at least the end of October, with executives seeing pay cuts of between 20 to 25 percent. The company, like younger tech brethren such as Facebook and Twitter, says it will further save money by embracing remote work in the longer term, allowing it to shutter some offices.